So, here is the weather forecast for 2021 to 2027 and a discussion on why you might have to abandon your home. Now, this is a blank world map that I've modified uh, to show various things. And the first thing I did is I looked at the historical records of the last mini ice age and particularly as related to Britain because that's where I live and I found out that in Yorkshire in the UK the snow didn't melt in the summer but beneath Yorkshire we were fine so the first thing I did is I found a map of world temperatures and I looked at locations where the average annual temperature is the same as it is in Yorkshire. That is locations in the Northern Hemisphere, obviously because it's really the Northern Hemisphere that's going into the deep freeze. And this is the blue line that you can see going across my map here. Anywhere that's above this blue line, the snow is not going to go away in the summer. It's going to stay on the ground. And this is a problem because if you're in an area with a lot of snowfall, then obviously the snow is just going to build up and build up. And you're going to say, yeah, well, we can sweep it out of the way, we can yeah but all you can do is move it around it's not going to go away if you've got a lot of spare budget you might be able to truck it somewhere else where it will melt but by and large you're going to be stuck with it and then we have the discussion of how much snow and I'm going to go into that in a minute but what I'm going to say for now is that if you live in one of the red areas then the chances are that if you're in a city or a town you're going to have to leave your home. Rural areas will be fine because there's plenty of room to stack the snow up into piles 200 feet high but in a town you've got nowhere to put it and that has implications for building integrity too which I will also go into in a moment so let's zoom in and have a bit of a closer look so you can look at what areas you're in so here's North America you can see the whole of Alaska is going to have this problem if you're in one of these places if you're in Europe the north of Scotland parts of Sweden and Norway a whole big wadge of Russia and parts of China quite large parts of China actually might be hit now just as a kind of reality check I went out also and I looked for a map of uh, exactly what happened in the last big ice age and these white areas here they're the places where there were glacial sheets I mean you're talking ice miles thick and they should roughly roughly correspond to the areas that I've got marked down as being high snowfall and mostly they do um, now 
obviously there might be an area of high snowfall around this area here by the look of the glacial sheets but we don't know because the thing is that the world has changed quite a lot since then um, so I'm going to stick with my map for now so do you live in one of these red areas and if you live in one of the blue areas then obviously you're still going to have a pretty bad time of it because it's going to be icy all year round and that's really quite a problem for the elderly the very young so just have a look at that border which side of it are you on okay so that's what the weather's going to be like between 2021 and 2027 2024 is is the center of our time frame so let's have a talk on why I think you may need to abandon your property the first question to ask is just how much snowfall can we expect well all we can do is go by what's happened before and in the last little ice age we got around about three times the average snowfall in most places according I have to say to anecdotal evidence because in the 16th century there weren't many scientists around and looking at some of the paintings that survive from this period of time um, but in the ice age proper we know that you had single events that could deposit as much as 50 feet of snow so mm, quite a lot is the answer there and I'm going to go with a conservative amount and say that in these red areas which currently are snowfall areas um, in modern times we're going to get around three meters of snow per year as a minimum and that is a minimum um, in some areas you could see 10 times that 30 meters of snow in a year um, but as to what's really going to happen we won't know until it actually happens but I'm going to take this figure of 3 meters of snow a year and then you have to think that well this is going to start in around 2021 it's going to get really bad um, which will be when the freeze locks in and the blue area there stops thawing out in the summer and this means that by 2027 when things will start to thaw you've had six years of snow at three meters a year and that is horrendous I mean 18 meters and um, you're looking at something like 60 feet of, of snow on the ground and as I've said before all you can do with this snow is move it around you can't melt it because you haven't got the energy resources if you sprinkle salt on it it's not going to do a lot of good because the temperatures are going to be too cold for salt to work now, why did I say you may have to abandon your home? Well, it takes approximately two meters of snow coverage on a roof to collapse that roof. And you might say, oh, well, you know, um, the roof's on a pitch, the snow's gonna slide off. Well, yeah, it will when there's somewhere for it to go, but if there's nowhere for it to go because you've got two meters of snow coverage or more in between your houses then it's just going to build up and build up on your roof and your roof will collapse and then you'll say well I'm going to sweep it 
into the gaps between the houses off my roof and well if you do that then you're increasing the side loading on the wall of your house and pretty soon that's going to collapse in fact if the gully between your house and your neighbour fills up due to the fact that you've got a hell of a lot of snow then that wall's going to collapse anyway and you have to look around you and say well if I've got God forbid something like 60 feet of snow where am I going to put it have you got a local park <laughs> and by local I do mean right next door where you can put all this snow and pack it into a 200 foot high pile and what's going to happen to road transport and air transport if you've got nowhere you can land planes you've got no roads and what's going to happen to just walking around what are you going to do build tunnels under the snow that won't work because the snow is too heavy and it's not self-supporting so if you want to stay in these areas really your own op only option is to take a leaf from the Eskimos book and start building snow shelters and igloos and look at tearing them down and rebuilding them every sort of three to six months um, so a mass exodus from these red areas does seem very likely to me it seems more likely than people are going to stay because if you stay your chances of death or at the very least serious injury due to frostbite are very very high not to mention the fact that you can drown in snow if you fall into the middle of a, di a deep uh, drift you're very liable to be in the same situation as someone is in an avalanche where you'll simply suffocate unless you know exactly what to do now the last mini ice age wasn't that bad and I'm predicting this one's going to be a bit worse because the number of factors that are contributing to it see my previous video are in fact well last 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 mini ice age we had two factors contributing to it now we've got five that's the basis of it so it's liable to be rather deeper than the last mini ice age rather than being less intense and the last mini ice age the estimates are that it killed somewhere between 12 and 15 percent of the population that's a lot of dead bodies guys it's all very serious stuff it's not at all nice to think about but it's something that I think we have to think about and we have to plan for and are there things we can do yes there are things we can do and I will cover that in a future video so I hope you found this informative and uh, if you have please like share and subscribe thank you very much oh hi Arduino Tronic for gold news finances opinions art and just loads of interesting crap. All right.